Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, dear student. In continuation to the previous videos uh, on community development, as we discussed about the community development process, the community development process provides the basic framework within which the community should work, altering details based upon its issues and resources. <coughs> For community development, who, what, when, why, how, these are the four points on which we will work. Who means the champions, the people who will select. A champion convenes the organizing group. Who? Champions calls a meeting of key leaders. What organizational meeting? when first step and process to determine level of interest and who will commit to a comprehensive community development plan champion organizes and cheers the meeting champion may continue and cheer role or another leader may assume that role so for community development we need to choose some champions the champions and the organizational meetings are taking place and in the first step of the process it is determined that what should be the issue to be solved of a community then the champion organizes the uh, uh, meeting and after that meeting they cheers the meeting and uh, they assumes the leaders to play their own role organizing group develops the mission statement and identifies stakeholders who champion who called the meeting or professional community developer what agenda items during organizational meeting during organizational meeting when you will conduct why to determine purpose and who should be involved how leaders attending organizational meeting develop and approve mission statement and identify stakeholders again we will discuss that if you give a, a practice work uh, in your community and you uh, collect volunteers and those current volunteers uh, through your meetings they uh, bring some of the issues and problems you discuss their problems with each other after that uh, the champions or you select those champions who are involved for the community development they will uh, determine the um, and they will organize all the meetings and those meetings which are organized by the champions they will discuss about the problems identification first they should have to identify their problem when they will identify their problem after the identification of the problem they would have to create uh, some leaders and those leaders uh, which would be mentioned on community development in order to provide sufficient solutions to the problems and uh, um, while there are some certain policies for the community development uh, and the stakeholders uh, who are engaged in th those policies that are from the governmental side so you can also engage from the governmental side uh, from civil secretariat some of the you know, people who are already working for the community development you are uh, you can also bring professionals uh, during your meetings from different non um, uh, governmental organizations such as ngos uh, it may be from national ngos or from a international uh, NGOs you can bring some of the experts and they will be uh, with you and they will uh, also give you some feedbacks and they, uh, you can focus on the assumption as well so organizing group collects and analyze information related to condition of community consider how can information about the community be gathered who will gather the information who will analyze the information how will accuracy, validity, and reliability of the data be assured? Who will organize the information for public use? So again, it is the same. Uh, you should have to uh, choose 
a professional person for this matter in order to analyze to to know about the um, the main reason through which you want to do your work organizing group communicates with the public consider how will the organizing group keep the public informed how will the organizing group seek public input how will organizing group members who represent specific stakeholders groups keep their constituencies informed how will the media and other public outlets be involved how will the hard to reach be reached so these are very important points for uh, organizing group communicates with the public uh, you need to keep in mind that uh, when you in, uh, inform the um, public you need to uh, be on time to, to bring uh, all of uh, your members with you and organized group uh, seek public input as well and the uh, um, organizing group should also uh, focus on uh, the stakeholders group as well so that uh, to identify each and every problem and how will the media and other um, outlets can be involved because media and uh, especially social media can play an important role in your community development so how will the hard to reach be reached so you, you you need to you need to address each and every problem on time so do and do we we need to uh, do communications with community establishment communications infrastructure put in place including internet site community development process material developed public input acknowledge and acted upon even if the action is only to hold it for future consideration periodic reports to the public and financial and kind contributors published the community development process branded through the use of logos t-shirts cups bumpers stickers so these are the important things and the students who are from the development studies and they want to study about uh, community development they should have to read these kind of uh, um, uh, slides so they to understand how to communicate with committee how to establish a community committee how communications and infrastructure put in place including internet sites as well community development process materials should be developed public input knowledge uh, acknowledged and acted upon and also you should have to bring awareness within your community so by bringing awareness with your community you need to have your own representation for that so for this if you are going to have your own dress or you can uh, make some logos so that would be very much important for your community in order to bring volunteers and work on time thank you for your cooperation and thank you for watching this uh, lecture as well please uh, stay with us for the next videos as well in order to learn about community development and its processes and its consideration